Cruise news time. And yeah, some wild stories today. Uh, first and foremost, U.S. Customs and Border Patrol done went and confiscated uh, somebody's crew souvenirs. And it was a it, wait till you hear the story. Uh, Disney with a, a big announcement. And we've got travel agents protesting, uh, protesting the cruise shutdown. Cruise news. Let's talk about it. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to La Lido Loca. I'm your host, Tony, here with the latest cruise news updates. Uh, welcome to Wednesday. It's the middle of the week, hump day. That's what they call it. How's it going with you? It's the 26th of January, and wow, this month is almost over. Uh, I hope everybody is doing well. Before we get to the cruise news, a quick shout out to Lyra. Uh, she is on the Harmony of the Seas and a member of the Aqua Show, and she's also a cruise tuber. Uh, she recently had to deal with having COVID and being uh, in quarantine, but the week that I was on the Harmony of the Seas, she had returned uh, and was part of the Aqua Theater showcase one of the synchronized swimmers she gave us a shout out in her video the other day and uh, i was excited that she was excited that i was seeing uh, their show and so uh, my favorite thing on the oasis class ships is the aqua theater and those shows they are so unique you won't see it anywhere else in cruising you have to go on an oasis class ship and see the show big shout out to Lear. go check out her youtube channel uh, and get an interesting behind the scenes look at what's uh, going on in crew life uh, from from the aqua aqua performer side pretty interesting all right let's transition jump into the cruise news a uh, big cruise news story number one australia australia continues to be locked down from a travel and cruise perspective and uh, there are people suffering over there because of that uh, ancillary businesses that support the cruise industry and then certainly travel agents travel professionals and yesterday they had a big organized protest where travel agents went to 25 different offices of members of parliament uh, to plead their case and to protest Protest and to ask for some sort of relief when it comes to travel in Australia. The protests were dubbed the National Travel Day of Action, and travel agents made impassioned pleas to lawmakers there in Australia to do something, to lift the travel ban, to provide some sort of relief to the travel industry, to allow cruising to restart, to allow travel to restart in a broader way. The situation in Australia is a reminder how fortunate we are here in uh, other places around the world where travel has been able to resume, uh, where the companies have been able to establish their health protocols and get passengers traveling again safely. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm not sure what the end game is there in Australia, uh, but cruise lines continue to be poised to restart in Australia once they get the green light. Uh, just a, a big shout out to the travel professionals there, people that are impacted by the shutdown of cruising. Uh, hopefully they can hang on long enough and still have a business and still have a life uh, once cruising resumes there. Cruise news story number two, Disney comes at us with a big announcement. They've introduced another themed day at sea. And this time the theme is Pixar. You know, Pixar, The Incredibles and Toy Story and Finding Nemo and Monsters Incorporated. Well, now you'll be able to experience the best of Pixar on a Disney cruise ship beginning in early 2023. The Disney Fantasy will be hosting nine of these Pixar days at sea between January and March of 2023, and it's going to be the full press. You will have character interactions, photo ops, themed dinners, themed shows all around Pixar and their characters. Disney demonstrating again its ability to use the properties that it owns uh, to entice people not only to their theme parks around the world, but also on to their cruise ships. Uh, which which Pixar character would you like to get a photo taken with? Uh, is it Buzz Lightyear or Mr. Incredible or Sully from Monsters, Inc.? I know some of those characters, I guess, better than I know Disney characters. C certainly interesting. I don't know that it's enough of an enticement to get me on a Disney cruise. I have said before that when I do do a Disney cruise, it will probably be one of the themed days. And we also have another big announcement coming out from Disney, this specifically around Marvel Days at Sea. For the first time ever, you'll be able to get on a Marvel Day at Sea uh, departing from Miami. Uh, this time it will be on the Disney Magic and it will be on sailings in early 2023 also. Marvel 
Marvel Day at Sea, like Pixar Day at Sea, will have uh, photo ops and interaction with different uh, characters, the theme dining shows, all of that. Marvel Day at Sea. I think Marvel Day at Sea is a greater enticement to me than Pixar Day at Sea. And then, of course, we have Star Wars Day at Sea. And the more I think about it, Disney may have to Jedi mind trick me into getting on one of their crews. I can imagine the interaction with Obi-Wan being like this. Obi-Wan says, uh, Tony, do you want to go on a Disney cruise? And I'm like, no, I don't want to go on a Disney cruise. And Obi-Wan says, this is the cruise that you want to go on. And I go, oh yeah, okay, Obi-Wan, this is the cruise I want to go on. That may be how I get on my first Disney cruise. Help me, Obi-Wan. You're our only hope. Now, I got to tell you, this next cruise news story is a little bit funny. It reminds me of a great Stephen Wright joke. I'm going to tell you the cruise news story and the Stephen Wright joke uh, in just a second. But first, let me quickly invite you to subscribe. If you like staying up to date with everything that's going on in cruising, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of these episodes. Help us meet our big goal of getting to 18 million subscribers. We're not even close. We're not even close, but there are so many people out there that, that are just now watching cruise videos, and we would love for you to be a part of the local fam. It doesn't cost anything when you subscribe with the notification bell on. It's just a tool to help you know when the new shows are out, and it helps us with the YouTube algorithm. So uh, please, please, please uh, hit the subscribe button. Thank you in advance. All right, here's the story. U.S. Customs and Border Control take away cruise souvenirs from a couple. And look, I'm using the term cruise souvenir loosely because there's got to be more than that. Uh, U.S. Customs sees over 500 aquatic items, aquatic items from a couple who are gathering aquatic items for an art project. We have nine sea fans, five queen conch shells, three pieces of bone, 297 shells, 68 stony coral, 25 pieces of crab, 30 sea urchins, 21 mussel shells, and four chitin. These folks did not get the memo that you can't take the sea life home with you. I'm surprised they didn't have a live porpoise in their carry-on or two. Would that be poor pie? They collected shells with a purpose and a porpoise. Holy moly. The Stephen Wright joke is, I have the world's largest collection of seashells. You may have seen it. I leave it scattered on beaches around the world. I love that joke. I don't know if these folks are in big trouble or not, or if they just had to give up the stuff. They said it was for an art project. Hopefully they weren't trying to sell it on the, on the, on the black market. But wow, don't collect the seashells. It's not good to mess with the ecosystems that you visit. Just go look at it. Take some photographs, free. Boom, that's your cruise news. What do you think? Have you ever taken 500 pieces of aquatic life home with you? What's your normal cruise souvenir? Are you excited about Disney? What could happen in Australia? Whew. It's Wednesday, y'all. Thank you so much for checking out the show today. I hope you enjoyed it. You can show that you enjoyed it by hitting the like button. Uh, but if you don't, I'll be forced to punish you, and your punishment will be this. If you do not hit the like button today, every future cruise that you go on, that moment that you're debarking, uh, that moment that you're disembarking, uh, and you approach customs, to them, you're going to look suspicious, and they're going to do a full search of your luggage and your body cavity. That seems intrusive. It seems very invasive. So all you got to do is hit the like button. You can avoid that. Uh, this is Tony for La Lina Loca, and until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.